Uh, I was wondering, I how do you use pedaling in the revolutionary etude, at least the beginning parts? That's a good question. There's not really one way to do it. You can do a version with less pedal, a version with more pedal. I tend to like less. Uh, the revolutionary etude is kind of boisterous in a way and easily gets too loud. And when everything's loud, it's like nothing is really loud in a good way because nothing can stand out. So that's my personal preference with that piece. I like to play as much of it that sounds good quiet, as quiet as possible. And usually the pedal does play a role in that. That's correct. See here I'm pedal, 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 pedal. That's how I would do it. But if you left the pedal on the whole way, pedal. And then pedal there on the seam. So this is one pedal. It starts to get almost too much, but maybe that's okay because it's very fast and it just gets like a little blurry and then clear, you know. Pedal here, pedal. So that's possible, but I think I like the other way better. Uh, pedal, 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 pedal. You know, so there's a lot of things you can do with that. Um, you know, just do what sounds good. Same thing in here. What this is pedaling only on the bass note. So here, sorry, I'll do that again. Here, 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 here. Yeah, that battery. So, however, you know, sometimes I like to experiment. pedaling at the top of the line in the left hand so or even a half pedal not this one though not that E flat but this one doesn't that sound good you know you pedal up there instead of So, same thing when you have, we don't have the score in front of me. Um, this part, I would pedal again four times per bar. Uh, where to do it? On the second finger in the left hand. Here, here. Right, so you don't have the problem of that minor second in, in the low keys blurring things up. So, are you guys putting me on the spot here? So that I like that. Sounds very good. Lots of, lots of. Uh, changing the pedal <laughs> lots of pedaling which kind of means less pedal in a way so uh there's a part at the end when you have that napolitan uh come as well um, is that before that anyway there's another passage again left hand reaches the top of its line I like to pedal that I, I really love the way it changes the texture very much in the same way as that kind of breath and spaciousness that the pedal gives when you change it at the top of the line in the left hand when it gets to that E flat so yeah basically different ways of doing it but I like lots of pedal I hope that helps I prefer less pedal too. This is back to the Chopin revolutionary etude. But not being fast enough makes non-pedal parts sound stiff. Yeah, that's a good point. It's true. 
That's no pedal. With pedal. Okay, you brought up a good point. You're absolutely right about that. Depending on the speed that you play it, you'll have different pedal. So the m slower you play it, a little extra pedal sounds good. As we get faster. Sorry guys, I would have to spend a few minutes practicing that, you know. How would I practice it? You know, I think we've done enough videos on this. I like to do this. And I have a problem with my thumb not going in the right place. I might even accentuate the thumb just once. That was close. That's not a musical thing, it's just to make sure I'm on the right note. There was one mistake with the two here. Yes, same one. helps when you look at patterns as well like okay well the two is on B's and F naturals you know and then I like you know, we've done all these in the in the other videos so you can look at that if you're playing that piece but definitely speed changes the the pedal uh, the pedaling what sounds good uh, uh, slow might not or what sounds good fast pedaling wise might not be the same slow so all those things go together. 